Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a hat or beanie using chunky chenille yarn. The only things you're going to need are one roll of chunky chenille yarn in any color and scissors. We are starting by making the first loop and then we're going to chain 12 to 15 chains depending on how wide you want the opening of the hat to be. For an average size hat I would recommend making 12 chains and for something a bit bigger you can do 13, 14 or 15. Just keep in mind that the more chains you add the chunkier the hat is going to end up looking so you don't want to go overboard. Also make sure to keep each chain about the same size. We're making them about 2 inches long. Try to keep them not too tight or you will end up with a smaller hat opening. After that, we're going to join the two ends together to make a circle. Grab the first loop and pull yarn through it, leaving the last loop intact. Now we're just going to go around the circle and pull yarn through each loop in the chain. Make sure to count them in the end so that you have the same number. So if you made 12 chains, you should have 12 loops. In my case, I made 15 chains, so I should have 15 loops. Once at the end, we're going to pull yarn through the last loop to start the next row. To mark your starting point, you can weave the extra yarn through the first loop so that you know where you are after each row. Now we're going to go around and make another row the same way we did before. For the next rows, we're going to flip the hat over on its side so that it's folded in half. And we're going to continue with the next row. You should have 8 rows in total in the end, not counting the rim of the hat.
To finish the head, we're going to cut the yarn while leaving enough yarn to work with. And we're going to pull the yarn through the next loop and continue around the head, pulling the yarn through each loop. Once you get to the end, pull the yarn through the first loop you did again. And now carefully tie in the yarn to close the hat. Always do this carefully so that you don't end up breaking the yarn. Cut the yarn, leaving about 5 inches of yarn still attached. Make a knot at the end so that it doesn't fray, and push the last piece of yarn through the center of the hat. If you don't want to attach a pom-pom to the hat, you can go ahead and weave this end through the hat and knot it. If you are, then leave it like this. First, we're going to also knot the extra yarn at the starting point and weave it through the hat. If you want to make a pom-pom out of the chenille yarn, you can hold it in your hand with the end sticking out and wrap it several times. In total, I wrapped it around 10 times. Then carefully pinch it in the middle, wrap one end around the center, and then tie both ends together tightly. Knot it twice to secure it. Then just move the two strands to one side and puff up the pom-pom. To attach it to the hat, we're going to pull the strands through the center of the hole at the top of the hat and tie it to the extra yarn that we left there. I like to make several knots just to make sure it's secure, then weave the ends through the hat.
And there you have it, a very chunky and warm hat or beanie for winter. I hope you liked this tutorial and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.